So um, with that, we're going to move on to our information and discussion items. And Pat, where's Pat? There's Pat. Good evening. So last month we brought to you um, a proposal for consideration to add an additional classroom to the elementary school to meet the needs of some high need students. It would entail the um, hiring of a new teacher and rearranging some space. Um, other personnel we already have on board, so that would be um, the extent of the upfront cost that we proposed. I think you got this as part of the handout. Um, I know that we also talked a little bit about what's in the budget for next year currently, which um, did not preclude this class being in um, standing for us, but obviously it would help to forestall other outside placements if we should um, put this into motion. Our plea is to get it up and running this year rather than waiting for next year due to the current needs. So if you have any particular questions about the um, classroom itself um, or the costs involved, I'm happy to take questions. Um, I don't have questions about the need for the classroom, the plan for the classroom. Um, in terms of financing it this year, and Chris, yes. is this something oh, that will require additional withdrawal from school choice? Or, yeah. or I'm sorry, our well, special education, our special education, education reserve special fund? fund? <laughs> Wait, well, I almost answered awesome. yes to that. <laughs> what a mistake that would have been. Um, yes, it would. It's okay. it's not in the budget. It's not just something we could right. absorb. Okay. And the, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, the, the cost for the rest of this year is... Do we have that cost? So well, I would say it's going to be half of the estimate that you have in front of you. Because we expect we could start this as if, early as... If we get approval, it would just hinge on hiring an appropriate person or in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So you would hope early, mid-March? Yes. So we would have costs for March, April, May, June, four months, so a little bit less than yes. half. Is the estimate that we would be able to recruit... Um, any of the projected special ed tuition that's being paid out? Well, right now we're in an avoidance mode, trying to avoid placing out two children. There is the potential of one returning, and there's a um, woman who's been in touch with us frequently about the um, move-in that they're planning. They've bought property and have a home in um, this town where they will be bringing a child who also would need those services next year. So that, that seems like a sure thing as well. So, um, so, so we are just avoiding the cost of two for sure, mm -hmm. and one probable, and another hopeful. With, if I may add, with the cost avoidance on the two for certain, I believe, Pat, that when we talked that you had indicated that when we, we gave you a range of cost for these types of placements, the least expensive was a, not a, a approved Chapter 76 placement, but rather one of the districts had a program. And that program, which previously was about $27,000 annually, is posted to go up to as much as 40? 40. Yes, in a fiscal year. Right. So. And would this be, have any summer program component to it? It's just yes, it would. Well, that, that actually, um, we started doing things a little differently last summer, and we actually placed some kids um, with particular types of needs, such as these students in the whole children's yeah. program, because it was more suited to the needs that they had than academics, because often academics isn't the issue. Yeah. So we we are very flexible in how we create a summer program appropriate for each kid. Great. Mm -hmm. So do we do we need um, how, how, do we need a motion to create the classroom or do we need a motion to approve the use of reserve or so, do we need a motion for both of those things? So I would say that you could do that in one motion and you're not specifying the reserve amount because as right. Chris and I indicated so you have what an annual cost would be which is a projection right. because we're not exactly sure where somebody right. will land on the salary schedule and then obviously we would amortize that to just the cost this year. If you have a rough estimate of what that is, you would have to certainly vote to the development of the program with the understanding that funding for the program would be taken from special education <coughs> stabilization. For the, rest, for the rest of this year, and we should go into this knowing this may be 
for next year as well. Oh, absolutely. Because the budget we presented to the tri board did not include this classroom. And the, well, no, it was mentioned. But it did, was not included in the numbers. Right. 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 This very slide was presented. That's right. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, it, it, you know, it's it's the right thing to do. Keeping kids as close to their home district as possible is the right thing to do. So it's best practice. It's also cost effective. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot to talk about other than to say, yeah. Okay. So is that a motion? I I would like to make a motion to create a well. This is, a special education classroom at Hadley Elementary School to be funded from the special education stabilization fund. Second. Can I amend that to say some dates? No, but I think we should amend that to say that it will be created this year yes. with our stabilization funds and hope that it will not be necessary to fund the full thing with stabilization funds next year. Yes. We would hope the town would support the school's budget. So. so may I ask, is it in any form of the amend, on the budget proposal going to the town right now, or is that? It is not right now, but I would, I would suggest that we would change our budget to the town to say that we told them last week that we were uh, expecting to create this classroom, but that it was not built into our budget. We explained last week that we assume this is a cost avoidance, mm -hmm. but we will now need to add it to the 16 budget. Okay. Thank you. So we have a motion, and did you second? I did. I'll second Excellent. again. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Good luck with the hire. Hope it goes speedily. A lot of people are looking forward to this. Do you have anything else for us? Um, no. Okay.